Art Loft. It's the pulse of what's happening in our own backyard, as well as a taste of the arts across the United States. It, it's really been an extension of a whole life of, of just really soul doodling. In this episode, mixing mediums, art practices that vary, but a goal that aligns, viewing our world through the lens of the artist. I, I find favorite favorite faces, you know, and I thought I, I know for I know for a fact I won't touch this guy here because I love him. My name is Scott Jeffries and I'm a painter. I call myself a soul doodler. You know, I've been doodling my whole entire life. These paintings now, this art now is really what I've been doing since I was a little kid. And I started doodling when I was probably five or six, and, and I doodled all through through elementary school and, and high school and law school. And because of COVID, I was able to, I got, I got laid off from my job at, at a law firm, and then it was kind of like pushed into a dream uh, of, of being a full-time artist. And that's, I've been doing that for the past six or seven months, and it's been an amazing thing because I've been able to focus on what I've been, been wanting to do my whole entire life. I don't create any colors. I just grab, I go to the paint store and I will just grab paints. People give me paints for, for Christmas. I have old paints that someone gave me. And, I, and if I happen to, you know, I just, I can, it will just be whatever's close, right? And that will, that will be the, the paint that's available. My grandmother was a painter, so I painted for a long time. And, you know, when I was 13, uh, we were at my grandmother's funeral. And my, my mother, um, was, we were standing in, in her studio in her, in her basement in the Bronx. And I remember my mother saying to, to basically to, to out loud, what am I going to do with all this stuff? All her paintbrushes and all her paints and all her, you know, all the materials that she had in, in the studio. And I was, and I was like, I'll, I'll take them home with me. And I took them home and I started to paint, started to paint then. And, you know, from that point on, I was always painting just, just to paint. But the main thing always is, is try not to have, have um, two colors that are the same next to each other. That's my only real rule. It doesn't matter really if it's, if it's perfect. You know, everything, it, it, there, there, there are no mistakes in my art. It's not for somebody else's approval. It's for, you know, it's just for enjoyment. If, if you like it, you like it. If you don't like it, you don't like it. You know, and I think a lot of artists struggle with, which I don't struggle with, is, is perfectionism. I never went to art school. You know, I went, to, I went to law school years ago, and you know, when, I, when people talk about my art sometimes, they're like, you're, just, oh, you're such a great colorist. You know, I never could thought that, you know, that this color and this color could go together. And for me, I never thought about that. Thank, thank, thank God I, I, did, I didn't know what, the, what a color wheel meant. And the fun thing will be is that, you know, when I step back and look at it, I was like, hmm, that's interesting. And I'll scratch sometimes and give it some life. My art's meant to be fun, you know, and enjoyed it and accessible, you know, and, and more than anything, you know, I, I, I would love people to, people, you know, people ask me a lot, what is that, what does that art mean? You know, what does that mean? And I'm like, hmm, what do you see? That's, that's the key. I draw the black lines first and ultimately just fill in the color, but, but no sketching out, no rhyme or reason, just, you know, painting to paint and have fun. I've been painting these faces my whole entire life, you know, and, and the, the, the great thing about what, what I see, you know, and what you see, it's really a mirror of, 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 of ourselves. If I'm gonna do a face painting, I'm just gonna paint faces. I'm gonna paint smiles, I'm gonna paint frowns, I'm gonna paint grins, I'm gonna paint whatever, whatever whichever way the brush brush goes. These paintings lately mean something different than they meant years ago. You know, I, someone had asked me, you know, what when when um 
you know, when, when George Floyd w was killed and, and, and all, these, all these protests were going on, they, they wanted me to, to give them a diversity painting for their kids. Right, so something that, that something to me, what it meant to me, and these paintings all of a sudden started to become like diversity paintings because they showed that the difference in humanity, different colors that, that, that are in the rainbow, you know, the reds, the yellows, the blues, the browns. At the end of the day, these are protests of, you know, call them protests of smiles more than anything. It just, it just was an amazing process for me to start to think about these things at a deeper, deeper level over, over time. And sometimes, it, sometimes they're just, you know, meant to make you smile. You know, there's no like deeper meaning. You know, I paint these, I paint these, these, these fish, you know, and they're just, they're just fish. I spend some time with, with, with uh, younger people working with them. And I hear all the time, they say, oh, I, I can't do that. I can't paint, I can't do this, I can't. And it's like, and I encourage anyone that's an artist just to, to stop with that negative thinking because you, you're never gonna be satisfied, you know? I love my art, you know? Not, my art's not for everybody, you know? But I know one thing, it's, it's for me. To 